John's yeah, that's fine. bag is so big, it doesn't even fit. Look how easily mine just goes off my back in. into the tic <laughs> That's because I travel in a way that is comfortable. Okay. There's nothing comfortable about carrying that on a train later. No, but that's because you decided to you. you wanted to go on a train, and I don't want to go on a train. Well, we're just getting a ticket to go to Kotayam. Kotayam? Kotayam. To Kotayam in order to get a bus from there to Munar. Um, 120 each. It's like £1.50. £1.50 for a four-hour train journey in sleeper class. So I assume that's just probably bunk beds, maybe like a double bed, air conditioning, pool table. Uh, you get a four-poster bed. Four-poster bed. Three-course meal. Uh, it's a four-poster bed, sorry. Meanwhile, John looks like he's on a girl's holiday to Ibiza with that bag. We can't find any actual seats, so we're going to take one of these like top bunk bed things. Share a bed again. Actually, it looks quite nice. We've got about 13 fans above us. Actually, we can just take a little station there, we just put all our stuff in the That's good, to our office. Right. We're now on the way from Varkula up to Munna in the Western Ghats. And rather than just get a taxi, which was very expensive and take a long time, we're getting the train from Varkula up to Kotayam, which is about three and a bit hours. And then from there, we've been told there are regular buses from Kotayam up to Munna. And we just have to wait for it to fill and it will leave. So all in all, it should be about seven hours. We should be there by sunset, but who knows? I've got an entire bunk bed to myself. It's nice. There's quite an array of fans quite close to my head. I hope none of these fans break. I've got a slight phobia of fans breaking, and it's all the shards going off into your eyes. That's a <laughs> phobia ever. Since we had four hours to kill, and Matt had already gone to sleep, and I was slightly jealous of this, I decided to come up with a photo challenge. I'm going to take your 24 1.4, please, and I'm going to take either a 50 or a 35 mil, I haven't decided yet. 50 mil, I'll take my 50 mil. Right, I'm going to go see what I can find. What have you done? You look happy with yourself. What have yeah, you done? I think I'll just take quite a nice portrait. Who? So that was a gentleman just over here. Ah. Standing in the doorway, he's got a really nice smile. Window on the right. Nice. And you getting off the train will work. Do you think this is cheating? Are you no, of course not. Are you going off the train in order to do our train? No, it's all part of it. The same way when you were photographing birds in the market, you photographed people and they had like a tiny little dot oh, in the sky. Oh. <laughs> Right, so it's my turn. I'm gonna go and try and find some shots around the train, maybe outside as well. I can take my 16 to 35 and probably my 50 mil as well, just in case. I literally have no idea what I'm gonna photograph, but it should be fun. So uh, yeah, see you in a minute.
I got an okay portrait, and I got one quite nice grey kind of light scene. Apart from that, I didn't get a great deal. I just so hard. I just thought it was really hard. Actually, I was trying like movement, I was trying to get up to people. I got one cool shot of someone's foot like hanging off one of their beds. Oh, that sounds good. Out of focus yeah. uh, carriages. So I wanted to do that and I was like, Ooh. So uh, I think I got a good shot and actually it looks like it's one person's foot, but it's actually two people's different feet. Uh, <laughs> Surely the foot will be on the wrong side of it. Yeah, I, I don't know, but you, you don't notice that, so, so let's pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> you have to be bold. I think I had yeah. to really force myself to get up close and, and really take the chance and um, just smile. I just smiled like a lot, like an absolutely crazy person. I was I'm like, not a big fan of that though. I don't like getting in people's personal space just without even saying hi or anything. Yeah. So I, I find it really uneasy. I like to chat to someone and then take some shots of them. I don't, this yeah. kind of stuff, it, particularly it, when it's like people are in intimate, their own space. Yeah. It's not like a single the street where people are moving. Yeah, yeah. This is like really intimate. I know, I know. Uh, I, think, I think what was interesting, because I actually talked to the guy who I did the portrait to first. Right. Uh, he was the guy who kept staring at me every five seconds. So I was like, right, I'm going to get something out of this that's just staring at me so much. So I went outside and I took a photo of him from outside and he had a newspaper and it looked quite cool. Well, off the tray? Yeah. Which is cheating, he says. No, well, you said you did it, I did it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good And it's a nice guy's journey. And it's something a bit, something a bit different. It wasn't a car journey at all. No, it wasn't. No, it was a train journey. Train journey. We've been on it for four hours. Yeah, I think what, what's good about this is that if you go in a taxi, you have seven hours worth of let's just try and be unconscious for seven hours. Here, we're actually trying to do stuff along our journey, which is, I think it's quite cool. We've reached Kotayam, which is our first stop to Munar. Now we need to try and find the bus station in order to get a bus from Kotayam to Munar. Not a bad trip so far, that's quite nice. Much more civilised than I thought it was going to be. 